Good afternoon, True Crime Tarot Talk fam. We're going to be doing a private reading for number PR number five today. And um, it will be a reading based, uh, She it is requested for her sister who had passed away in a car accident. Um, she was one of four of the people in the car. Now her question basically is, is she at peace? Was she at peace when she passed? And did she pass as they claimed? Will she reincarnate? Um... And did she know she was going to pass early because she did talk about that sometimes, that she felt that she was going to? Um, I am going to write one more thing. Okay. So now out of the, everybody in the car wreck, she the, her sister was the only one that passed. So she does want to know why, because a lot of the the stories, um, reports, things like that did not match up with the condition that her, her sister's body was found in. So we're going to go ahead and ask for her spirit guides, uh, her sister's spirit guides to come in with my spirit guides, as well as her spirit guides, her sister's spirit guides. And then we're going to ask for all three of ours to come together with um, Source, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel um, Raphael. And that will give us, and any other ancestors or spirit guides that would like to join to help, help give us a clear picture as to what exactly happened during that car wreck. So we're going to see why her why she was the only one that passed out of the four. The driver did do some time in jail for manslaughter because he was under the influence. And so he was driving the car, therefore it made him responsible. Um, but again, there was a, a couple things, you know, that were noticed on her body by the family that they felt that it just never set right. So they just would like to get some clarity on it. So we're going again, we're going to ask, um, was she at peace when she passed? Um, and was it, was it at the, was, did she pass as it, it was claimed by the others in the vehicle? Will she reincarnate? Or has she already? And then we're going to see um, why she had the feeling that she was going to pass at an early age. Because you, said you had left that she had, would say that sometimes. So, um, and I've actually known quite a few people to say that. It's not uncommon. So, um, I do want to know why she felt that particularly for herself. So, we're going to find out... Um, was she at peace when she passed, and did it really happen as they claimed everybody in the car who lived? Besides, you know, she was the only one that passed out of the four. Um, will she reincarnate, or has she? And um, did she know she was going to pass early in her life, and how she feels now about that? So, let's go ahead and get started and see what um, she has to say with her spirit guides, along with yours and mine. So, um, I want to thank you again for choosing me to do your reading. I'm greatly honored, and um, like I said, just thank you again. So, um, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and ask her, was she, at Pat, was she at peace the day that she passed? There were some secrets the day that she passed. So, um, I'm not going to say she wasn't at peace because we're at the very beginning, but she is saying there was some stuff going on that day that was a little bit secretive, and... Um, when it's reversed, that means the secrets are coming out. But I think she felt that they that maybe they were trying to maybe hide a secret or hide something so it didn't look so bad. Or somebody was trying to. And that's why the, the moon is here. Um, and that represents, you know, um, the water signs. Mainly cancer. So, um, let's see what else about... Um, Did, the re did everything really happen as they claimed? Five of Wands bickering. So it is saying that there was bickering going on. Um, they were, somebody was trying to end the bickering that day. So, uh, so they're coming out of it. They're not, like I said, if you look at it this way, it's like, it's like children bickering. I do know there was four people in the car, but there is a fifth one. So um, there might have been a fifth person that she was bickering with that day. Um, or not getting along with for some reason. And so maybe that's, you know, there was stuff that was going on that she didn't feel that she wanted to reveal. So she decided to not bicker with this person and to go ahead and distance herself that day from them. So she went ahead and kind of left the situation. So let's go ahead and find out why. 
Um, were you at peace when you passed? And what what really happened that day? Why is the five of wands in reverse? Who were you bickering with and why? What was going on that day? Um, the devil is coming out. So basically this is, um, you know, kind of what it looks like. He's kind of got people doing what he wants. Um, it's manipulation. It's lying. It's, it's cheating. It's it's stealing. It's all of those things that you would expect the devil energy to be. So it is showing after she left this argument that she thought she was going away from and leading to another situation to get a break from that argument, the devil energy stepped in. So this will be around the time she passed. So we're going to ask her next. Um, did she know that she was going to pass on this car ride this, as far as it being early? She had a two of swords decision. That means she had, had a thought offer of the mind, which is the two of swords. So she had to make a decision out of those two swords. So right here it's showing she had, hadn't had made the decision yet, but it was offered to her that day whenever she went for the car ride. So um, basically she had, like I said, two, two thought offers to choose from. So why the two of swords here for... Um, if, if you knew you were going to pass earlier and as far as the car accident. Because the star is in reverse. The star is in reverse to me is very much as like um, the sun in reverse. So it's gonna it's the ending of a life of a cycle. And to me, um, the star represents life because when you look at it upright, they are um, over they're in the water playing with pitchers and pouring out water and they are you know obviously unclothed and they're having a great time. But whenever it's in reverse, it's kind of like taking that all away. Because water represents life. You have to have water to grow life. So, um, why is the star in reverse for the day that um, this happened? And how do you feel about it? She feels that um, there was no victory the day that she passed. She feels it was the six of wands in reverse. So, she is feeling that um, this way, she would feel that, um, not that it was justified that she passed, but it was done... Like, it was her original exit point for her to pass that way. This way, I kind of feel like she's telling me no. Like, I shouldn't have passed that way. That's not what they really told me, kind of. And she's saying they told me. I, I don't know if it was a man or a woman that told her or who convinced her to go. I don't, I'm not sure. But she is saying it's not what they told her. They gave her these two decisions, and basically they dumped the life cycle out on her, and they, there was no victory for her in that. So, will you reincarnate into the future? Yes. She has the Ten of Pentacles. So, I would actually say um, if she hasn't already done it, she's probably doing it at this very moment. And she's in the process of, of picking out a family and a body and what she wants to do and making her life plan. So, yes, she is going, she is going to reincarnate if she has not already because she has the Ten of Pentacles and that is the earthly realm, which means you are coming into the earthly realm. Yeah, she has the Two of Wands. So, this is basically making a decision. She has made the decision. Um, wands are actions, which means she has decided to go ahead, I do feel, and reincarnate. So, I kind of feel like she did already. So, we'll kind of go ahead and clarify that some more, but she does have the Ten of Pentacles, and it shows she made that decision. So, to me, that is saying that, yes, she did make the decision to, to reincarnate or not, and in this uh, sense, I think that she went ahead and reincarnated. So, let's see why the Two of Wands is here and about the reincarnation. Have you reincarnated, and if so, how do you feel? She has reincarnated. And I'm going to put them in order because she dropped out three, so it came out like this. So, she actually... Started out with the Three of Cups in her reincarnation. So she came back not only um, emotionally stronger, but she did it in a way to where she still was going to have fun and enjoy herself in her life, but not in the same terms as before, if that makes sense. Because um, she learned from those terms. That, that's the whole thing of being in life. So now, instead of behaving... Um, maybe a way that she felt didn't benefit benefit her in the past life, she has decided in this life to conform to society. Now, this represents Pisces, the, uh, the, the sign Pisces, which is a water sign. But it, when it's in reverse, that means that they're basically conforming to society and they're finally um, 
when they're this way, they're not conforming. They don't, they kind of do their own thing. They really don't care. They say their own things and, and they have their own thoughts and they really kind of don't budge on their thoughts. But when they're this way, they're more open minded and more willing to listen and accept things around them. Now, she is saying also with the harsh communication, she has ended that. So whatever happened in this in this accident, she has um, basically, she doesn't remember anymore. So it's gone. Um, again, once you come into a new body, you forget your past life. So, yes, she has reincarnated. She is doing well. She is, she is um, in the, like I said, she's in the hangman in reverse. So she is conforming to society. Um, and then, like I said, right underneath that again. You know, it was a three of cups. So, yeah, she's having a great time in her new life, and she doesn't remember anything of the past. So, let's go ahead and clarify again. I'll ask her a couple more times. Like I said, um, I'll, I will ask her, you know, about her bringing it up about passing early. But if she does not feel that it's relevant, she probably won't mention it. So, but I do want to know why some of the things in the report did not add up to what, um, what was actually on her body from the accident. There was a few things, like her purse was missing, things like that. So I just kind of want to know why. Because there was things that were missing off of her body and her personal items. And she was the only one that did pass. And from what I understand, the driver was under the influence and purposely drove this car into, into a, a pole of some sort at high speed. So... Let's go ahead and see um, why the moon is here. For um, was she at peace when she passed, and what was going on? What like what was really happening? Was it really what they claimed happened? Her friends, or did something else happen? Did something else happen, and is she at peace? She is saying with the um with the moon coming out, there were some secrets that came out. So basically, somebody maybe saw something that they didn't like, so she decided to take the Six of Swords and move on. So it's basically kind of like um, the Six of Swords is like uh, taking off in the boat in the middle of the night. Um, now, it is, if you look in most decks, I don't have the one with me, but it, if you look up um, the Six of Swords, like the Rider Waite deck, there or any... Um, actually, if I could find it in, in the... Gilded Terra Royale. I don't have it over here right now. It's not on the board. But basically, it's a person in a boat with these six swords. Three in front of them and three in back of them. And they are moving forward away from a situation in the middle of the night. Because they do not want to be confronted about these secrets. And so, she left the situation in the King of Swords energy. And you can see her words. Um, she has almost ice coming out of her mouth. So, she... um. She was upset a little bit. She's not reversed. She just didn't want to talk about it anymore. So um, whatever somebody wanted to talk to her about, she didn't want to talk about. So she decided to go ahead and leave. She thought that would be the best thing. And then, because um, she thought it was going to put the five of wands down. She thought it would put the bickering down. But the problem is the people she left with were no good. So let's see why the five of wands is here. Because it's the six of cups. So it is saying that there was... um. Cups represent emotion, but the Six of Cups represent children most of the time. Um, this is going to be people under the ages of 20, basically. Um, now, when you're looking at pages, they represent the ages 20 to 30 in children also. But when you're looking at the Six of Cups, this is like reminiscing on your childhood, your past, your happiness. Um, when it's reversed, it's almost like it's not a great childhood. It's not a great past. But she is putting down the five of wands because she is saying that she does have, she did have a great childhood. She she did much enjoy it, but she felt like she needed a break from whatever was going on up here. So that's why she left because she felt that she might say something that she shouldn't say, and she didn't want to do that. So, um, but the people she left with had no good intentions. That's why the devil is here. Why is the devil here? Who are they, and what did they want? What did they want? Why did they... Why? Why did they show up with the devil energy? Because the Wheel of Fortune spun. So, this is the universe spinning it. So, yes, this was her original exit point, again. Um, that might have been why she did say that she always felt she was going to pass early. Um, because she felt it. But she didn't know it was going to be from this group of people. That's the only difference. She didn't know how. She just knew it was going to happen somehow. And that could have just been her being very empathic and picking it up. Um, so let's see what the Two of Swords is. Basically, I want to know, um, 
Did she know she was going to pass when she got with these people? Ace of Swords. Or the two of the Two of Swords is coming out with the Ace of Cups. So basically they kind of were like, hey, if you come with us, we'll do all this stuff. And we'll have a bunch of fun. It's kind of like the Ace of Cups is kind of like the Holy Grail. If you look at it, it's like it's overflowing with all of the sea creatures, urchins, um, oysters, anything like that, that you would want scallops to like that, you know, that you would want as another sea creature, or even if you just like seafood. I'm just saying the Ace of Cups is basically the Holy Grail. So it's all emotions. It's abundance. It's everything that you want. So that's what they presented to her. They told her, if you come with us, we'll just have a great time. Screw the other person, let it go and don't worry about it. So that's kind of what she did, but they played with her mind. It was not a legitimate offer. So that is why the um, star is in reverse. So can you tell me why the star is in reverse? Because the Queen of Cups came in. The Queen of Cups now represents um, Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces. Now, um, she is upright, but she's up right next to a card that's in reverse that's basically taking somebody's life. So, um, when they're in reverse, they're very known to be, um, con artists, manipulative, um, this is their dark energy. They can be con artists, manipulative, they'll do things in their favor, they'll play with your emotions and your mind. So, this person basically had the plan to take her life in some sort of way or put her in a situation that could have, but they didn't care because maybe they were upset with her. I mean, I, I don't know the ratio to the amount of males and females that were involved. I do know one male and one female, but I don't know. And then obviously the one that passed, but I don't know who. I know there was four people in the car. Two were female, one was male. I'm not sure what the other one was. So, um, why is the Ace of Swords here? Because of the Empress. She felt no victory from the Queen of Cups because of the Empress, which also, again, um, now this represents Taurus. This is an Earth sign, and then usually this is a fertility card. That's why she's pregnant. Um, I don't know if she could have possibly been pregnant or if um, she was just feeling very, very um, Empress-y that day. Um, or they were telling her, like, like you know, because basically the Empress is what every woman wants to be and what every man wants. Like, she she possesses all the zodiac signs. She um, she represents fertility. She can grow life. Um, and like you said, you can see the look on her face. Like, she's very, very confident in herself, and she's very beautiful and very, very, I mean, like I said, everything that every woman wants and everything that every man wants. So I kind of feel like this person was jealous of her. They saw this Empress energy and they took it away from her. They were jealous of it and they didn't like it. So it's a woman that did it. It was the woman's idea. Um, why did she want, what did she, why did she do this to you? What was she jealous for? She was jealous because she felt that she had the Queen of Wands energy. Now, the Queen of Wands is going to be Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries. And now, again, they are very beautiful, and they are very magnetic. So when they come into a room, much like the Empress, which was what, which is what she was jealous of, um, they also carry that trait like the Empress does, which is whether they be man or woman. When they come into the party, everybody kind of stops and looks at them because they're always dressed nice. Um, they kind of stand out. They kind of – they just um, are very um, – attractive most of the time and and they're very funny they're very intelligent they're like i said they are the life of the parties so that's kind of why they did not like her for whatever reason they didn't like whatever attention she was getting they felt she didn't deserve that queen of wands energy so she has the ten of pentacles she's reincarnated because the devil stepped in and so she's coming out of the devil energy which is over here that they put her in whenever they put her in that situation she is saying that now she has reincarn reincarnated and she's come out of that devil energy. So that's why I said this Kate, it looks like when it's reversed, it still looks a little bit ominous. But it, when it's this way, it's saying that she can't come out of it. When this way, it's saying that she's able to release herself from this cage. That's why it's kind of like you can't really see what's going on because um, it's kind of ended in a way. So as I'm saying, she's she, like, when she reincarnated, she she released all of this energy, all of it. 
she doesn't remember any of it. She just knows she had the choice to, to reincarnate or to not. So let's go ahead and see. Yeah, she is saying the reason she went ahead and reincarnated was because of the Ten of Swords. Now, as you can see, this would be the end of a cycle. She is showing that. She is showing that the cycle ended sooner than it, she wanted it to. And I think, like you said, she kind of always felt that. So she is showing a little bit the spirit leaving the body with the Ten of Swords. And she is saying that I want to go on. She wanted to move on to the next body after this. So that's why she made her decision. I don't think she made it super quickly, but she did make it. But she, again, she doesn't remember it with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Because now that she's come here, she doesn't remember any of this. But she is happy. Like I said, because she has the Three of Cups and the Pisces in reverse. So she is very much... Um, Whatever she felt she lacked out on her left on her last life, she's brought into this life. So that's why she doesn't remember it and she's very happy in this life. So let's see what else um, she has to say. Okay, so she has the, or the Queen of Pentacles, so she might be an earth sign in this life, but she is saying that she is possessing the earthly energy now, so that is what she's doing, and she is working on a happy home. So she might even be married by now. I don't know how long ago it was that she passed, or if she's getting to the age where she could be married, but um, it looks like she's living um, a very happy materialistic life, because she is the queen, and in her reincarnation and not only that she's living the four of wands so she's finally taking the action to make her life the way she wanted it to be so that is going to be the re the main reading for her and then we're going to go ahead and get some clarity cards i'm going to do the purpose of life first and see what she would like you to know about the purpose of life or anything or anybody else sometimes they give advice about um what's going on in the world around us and what we can do to get better um, as a as a collective, or they might just give you advice of what happened to their situation. So we're gonna ask her to drop a couple cards. All right, that's three. So we'll take those. All right, so she has author, career change, and travel. So very very again, I'll say this with most of them: when you pass, it is a career change because when you are brought here, it is because you're you are here to teach people something or learn something or something like that. So you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you deserve and desire. So now, like I said, that could just be saying I said again, that could be talking about her career change from from moving from one life to the next or she could be talking about someone in her life who's making a career change. She is saying not only will um they'd be good at being an author and maybe that might help get her story out, but traveling will also be a big part of it. It says you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Right now is the time to write it. I feel like she's talking to her family um, because she's showing me people sitting at a table eating together like a family would. And then um, travel. Your life's purpose involves traveling. So yes, I think they're saying that um, I think she wants I kind of get the feeling like she wants, not like, not to stress, you know, she wants people to know whatever they claim is not true. So she just wants people to be aware of what can happen in these situations, I guess. So just, you know, like, um, like you can go to schools and even just guest speak. You know, I, I used to have people in schools do that all the time. They would come and just kind of tell us their life, what happened, what got them in that position, or, you know, how they ended up somewhere they weren't supposed to be. Like I said, they might even be saying something as simple as that. She, but she is saying somebody in her life um, has been wanting to share something and that they, she is ready, she's she's there to support them from her realm so that they can do so. Because she does think that they have an, a book inside of them and that they think she thinks that it will catch a lot of people's attention. So if anybody... Um, is wanting to bring more awareness to her case. I think she is saying she is okay with that. Um, but again, she's also not saying that you have to. Again, you have your free will and you can do and take go upon it or about it however you choose. So this is going to be the Archangel card. So we're going to get some of those for her as well. All right, so there's three again. We got three, three so far. So outdoors, hello from heaven, and um, clear sentence. So we're gonna do outdoors first. Archangel Joseph, 
Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Now, usually this helps people when they're writing. So I feel like that might be to the person she is writing to. And now we have this card. So what it is going to state on this card is Archangel uh, Ragiel, or Ragiel. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but there it goes right there, the name of it. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So if you keep getting this feeling that you um, need to do something or want to do something because and you start to almost get restless, that's kind of your um, spirit guides nudging you to take that chance. And actually, she is telling you hello from heaven. So she is saying, yes, I am here. Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of any worries and feel their lovings and their blessings. So she is saying that she still very much loves you. Um, she blesses you from where she is and that y'all will all meet up again one day. Always. Always. So she is saying hello from heaven. And then we're going to do these um, our, these um, angel answers. And then we'll go ahead and do a couple of pendulum questions just to see straight yes or no answers and maybes. And then we'll do the singing bowl, and that will be your reading number PR number five. I hope that you um, got some clarity on it. And once again, thank you for choosing me to do your reading. I'm greatly honored. So we're going to ask her what was going on that day. Did she expect any of this? Did she know what they were doing? Is their story what they say it is? Is there anything you can tell us about that day and what happened that we need to know? So there's three again. So she did 333, which is basically um, in the Bible. So she is going off of those numbers. She is saying that there are helpful people around and reconsider that. Because I think sometimes when stuff happens, you kind of forget that there are people there to help you. So she is saying reconsider some of other people's behavior because there are people to help you. And then her last card is remain positive. She is saying that sometimes it can be very hard to remain positive, especially when people... Um, are making it hard for you to remain positive, even in a daily setting, even if someone's just giving you a hard time. But she is saying remain positive. She is your, um, she is very much your spirit guide and um, and one of your ancestors on the other side, and she is taking care of you and she loves you very much. So let's go ahead and see. We're gonna ask her directly if she is here. Okay, PR number five. Here's, uh, I wanted to know if you were able to be, uh, are, are you here at the moment? So front to back is yes. So she is saying yes, she is here. Um, were you at peace when you passed? Were you at peace when you passed? She's not really answering it. Were you at peace when you passed? In the car wreck. She's kind of teeter-tottering between no and maybe. So it's kind of like a little bit more confusion. So I, I don't think she really knew what was all going on at that moment. I think it happened too quick. So I, I don't think it was, it's that that she wasn't at peace. I think it happened so quick she didn't realize what was going on. Um, did you really pass how the other three claimed that were in the car? She's saying yes. Um, do you know where your purse is? 
Do you know where your purse is? No. She doesn't know where her purse is. Um... I want to ask one more question about them. Did this girl have anything to do with picking you up? Did she know what was going to happen? This, this queen of cups energy, this water energy, did she know what was going to happen? She's saying yes, that the queen of cups set it up. So Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer set her up. Because they were jealous of her. Um, are you at peace now? Yes. She's at peace. Are you enjoying your new reincarnation? Yes, she's enjoying it very much. So we're going to go ahead and do the singing bowl. And again, I want to thank you, number PR number five, for choosing me to do your reading. I'm greatly honored. Like I said, if you have any questions, you do have my email, and you're more than welcome to email me, and I will clarify anything on the reading that you would like. So we're going to do the singing bowl to knock out all the negative energy and bring in the good energy. True Crime Talk Tarot fam. Now, again, this is going to be the private reading for PR number five. I want to, again, I want to greatly appreciate you for choosing me to do your reading. It is an honor, and I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, if anybody else is interested in having a private reading like this for themselves, all of that information is in my about section along with my email. And um, you may email me and, and let me know which inter uh, reading you are interested in, and then I will get back with you, and we can go ahead and set it up from there. Um, but again, I want to thank number PR number five for, um, once again, giving me the honor to do this reading for you. I hope that it helped. And, um, like I said, again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, like I said, again, you do have my email. So, um, thank you, Tarot Talk, or Tarot Crime Talk fam. And, um, I will talk to y'all soon. Or True Crime Tarot Talk fam. I'm sorry.